Oh, what the? Oh, look, Shane! Shane, yes! Yes, yes, yes! So. Oh, wow, 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 look at this. How we doing today, Robert Zaba, auctionaire extraordinaire with Super Shane, and we're at the storage unit right by our hometown, Brook Park, Ohio. And I bought this unit, I think, 700 bucks or so. And I spent a little bit more than I wanted to spend on this unit, but it was close. There's lots of stuff in there, and one item I couldn't make out, and I was like, well, maybe that's what I think it is. If it is, maybe they have some other awesome collectibles in here. So we're gonna take a look inside this unit. I can't wait. Hopefully you guys can't wait. And the best thing to do is subscribe. It's free. Easiest thing to do. Get all your notifications by hitting that bell. You want to hit that bell. And also you can check out our website, www.secondsense.com. We sell all kinds of stuff and ship everywhere in the world. All right. Now this unit's a little bit different than a lot of units because a lot of times my units are dirty, dusty, filthy. This one's clean, organized, packed and stacked. And one reason I liked it was, there's some electronics over here. And I know we've sold some of these testing pieces like this before, and we've gotten some good money. There's a big pile of electronics back here. So who knows, I like this little case here. And then the picture is so bad, so fuzzy, we couldn't make this out. And yes, 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 it is a Millennium. Oh, it's better than that. It's a drone. A Millennium Falcon drone. A force is strong with this one. Man, now we gotta find the remote. But talk about hours of fun, Shane. Huh. So who knows what's gonna be in this unit? And I was hoping that's a Millennium Force drone. I figured if they got a Millennium Force in there, there's a good possibility. All these boxes, they could have some vintage toys. They already got vintage electronics. So let's start going through stuff. Obviously, this says towels. Then it says bath towels used. Condition. Oh, okay. I thought they were used towels in there. I was like, that's kind of disgusting. So we'll have to open some boxes here. This says game part or repair. Game parts or repair? Ooh, what kind of game? Uh-oh. You know what I'm gonna have to go get? My knife. Make sure. And yes, there's just towels in here. So we use those for clean up around the shop. This one says eBay box. What the heck is this? Pieces and parts for something. Huh. Oh, there's something down underneath here. What the heck? Electronic chain. Oh, it says in there, LG 42 inch LCD TV something unit. This must be replacing. <laughs> Interesting. Close. Close. It's almost all blue. Sometimes it could be a police or fireman or a chest lock. Interesting. Oh, look at right there. Do you see what I see? <laughs> You gotta be kidding me. No way. Oh. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. The Sizzler Giant O race set. Oh, look at this, Shane. It's in there. Still got pieces in the original plastic, Shane. Directions down there. This could be a good sign. This could be a really good sign. Oh, man. Woo -hoo -hoo. What does it say on there? Something Express. Let's open it. Oh, steamer. And oh, that's what they're talking about. Express. Oh, a little steamer. It's gonna be worth a few bucks. Small steamer, no attachments, untested. Huh? We can test it out. More towels. That box that collapsed over here. The heck is that? What is that? Nightmare 3 sequel set, the video board game Nightmare? 
That's probably some money in here. I never seen it before. And Shane will tell you, I've seen a lot. Oh, remember that bear cap you're looking for? The high life. Oh, oh it's ice hockey. I need one of these for basketball, you know. I can do the plays. You can just act like it's basketball, right? Yeah, there There's you go. the hoop, kids. Okay, these are the spots you got to go to. Coach, why does it say hockey? Shut up, kids! Bags in here, purses. Interesting little unit so far. Pieces of Kirby vacuum. All right. Well, this says game parts repair. What are game parts repair? Uh, that looks like PlayStation. Xboxes. What the heck? That's crazy. Xbox 360. It has stuff all about them. To play this disc, put in on Xbox 360. Uh, well, what's the next one in the hole for Shane? the heck? This is strange, strange, strange. The only thing I could say, oh man, we got boxes, boxes. Oh my gosh. Oh, it's stacked up all the way back here, Shane. Who knows what we're going to find in this unit. So far, we found binge electronics, Xboxes, and wow, yes. wow. What's inside the cabinet, Shane? What the heck is this? <laughs> Who knows? Got apple pie filling, seashells. Hot pie stuff. Salt and pepper shakers. Legos? Oh, there's Legos down here. Star Wars Legos, this could be a good sign, Shan. What's this? What is this? What the heck? Like nuts, bolts, screws, and hardware. Wow, wow, wow. There's a nice speaker down here. Akana, Akanoa, what do you call it, Shan? Akio. Oh. Alright, let's open up two. Oh, look at it. Fred! Yeah. Toys in here. Ambulance. Gold bells. Want, want, want robots. Dev Doctor. Yeah, toys, toys, and toys. What the? Oh, look, Shane, Shane, yes! Yes, yes, yes. Nintendos? And Curse of Dracula. That's a good game right there. That's like a $40 game, I think. Oh, look at this. Look, look. All these controllers. That says for parts. This is, look at this. There's Game Boy stuff down here. Nintendo Power stuff. Sonic magazines. Oh man, I'm getting excited now. <laughs> Game Boy Advance. Game Boy Color, purple one. You know that's money. Game Boy Color, see through. Wow, wow, wow. And the rewinder. Unbelievable. This unit's really starting to pay off now. And vintage toys, vintage electronic video games. Oh, I'm excited, Shane. Let's see what's in this case. Nothing. Oh, it's a fancy one. Metal paper towel holder. You need a new paper towel holder? If I did, that'd be the one. Huh, that's interesting. That's an 
or something. It's not just a regular. Ooh, nice clock on her hair. Wow, that is nice. Sterling and Noble wood frame. It's a nice little piece there, Shane. That's solid wood, me too. Alright, what's in here? It says Brad Jelly. AT&T U-verse. You got a basket. Some clothes in there. And this is a nice table right here, Shane. We could use another nice table. Mm -hmm. Come on, come on. Come on. <laughs> what the heck? Xbox 360 hard drives. I mean, it's got to be worth something to somebody. I mean, if we just had a video game option coming up. Oh, my gosh, Shane. Now we could scrap it all. There's gold in those parts, Shane. That's an Xbox 360 uh, motherboard, I guess, right? Mm-hmm. One thing Shane knows is motherboards. Tape deck control center. Tape control center. <laughs> okay. Bike part 10-inch wheel set. Not on eBay. How much is now bike? There's some more clothes down here, Shane. Spider. And we got brand new shocks. New shocks. Look at this thing. It says Ford of Cleveland. Oh, there it's like it is. an engine. It's, so this is from the Ford. This might have been on an executive desk at Ford. This could have been Henry Ford's lamp. What do you think about that, Shane? Would you want to buy a Henry Ford lamp? Yes, I would. You got the opportunity. You got remote controls. I mean, this guy's definitely into electronics. Ooh, that's what I want to see. A Gerard. That is a good brand. It should have a thing sticking up. That's the only thing I don't see. What is that? What is that? Oh, it's a little jukebox. Man, we got so much stuff in here. Like trying what's underneath this one. Woo-hoo-hoo. -hoo. A Fisher 440, Shane. And it's heavy. Bet you that's worth a few bucks. So, one reason I bought it is because we have a huge... Oh, man. Huge. This is good, Shane. Pioneer. We get lots of boom boxes. How many Pioneers have you seen? Not many. That's that, awesome. That could be big money. That's one of the top names out there. So, main coat, I think. Or stole. Looks like maybe a stole. I, am, I was interested to see what's going to be in this unit. I paid more than I wanted, but. Or payoff Coca Cola polar thing, a little Coca Cola. There's more Coke stuff in here. Bicycle pumping, poker chips. Speaker, speaker, speakers. Cassette organizer. There's the top to our turntable. And whatever in here, Shane. Oh my gosh, this is heavy. This is heavy. Cop yet. Tape to tape copy. Wow. So, it's got to be worth something. 10, 20, who knows? Man, we got so much more to go through. I can't believe this unit. And I'm hoping there's more vintage goodness stacked up through all these. Hopefully, we find some toys, more toys, and more video games. All these giant speakers and stuff in here. These are Sony. These are nice pieces. A pair of hair. Another pair of Sony speakers. We'll see if they work or not. This is a hat box. Empty. Empty hat box. It says, <laughs> you need a Han chain? And what do I always tell you, Shane? One way to get ahead in life, buy a storage unit. Maybe a skull.
but this is all skulls in there. And believe me, Halloween stuff always sells. Now all those skulls and stuff. Some people want to decorate with skulls. Yeah, I never do. I never know what's in a suitcase. Probably nothing, but you gotta check. Feels empty. Armor. Under armor bag. This is what's in here, this heater. What's this? Something in here, I don't know what. $10 ship pack. This few money sounds stuff on eBay. Buy stuff on eBay. There's all kind of books in here. $249, $241 ship. $0.99. Cents. That's weird. That is weird. Ho ho! Record player. I like this electronics. Natural. Oh, it's like some kind of filter. Empty box. We definitely have some empty boxes. Empty boxes. Empty box, empty box. Bags. Explosive ordnance disposal. Huh. Going in to blow it up, Shane. Weird. You never know what you're going to find in the storage unit. Oh, that's nice. Pretty fancy joystick there. Paperwork. And we got a lot of stuff to go through. Oh, what is that? Smoking? The patio. Try broiler. Man, got a, a meat grinder, Shane. Not worth a lot of money, unfortunately. Let's see, all the meat grinder. Ooh, there we go. Some jeans. Jeans are always sell. These are Fubu other shorts. South Pole. These are good brands, at least. More South Pole. Let's see ones you got, Shane. And, uh, nope. Clothes and clothes. Sheets. What's underneath it? Oh, what's this? There we go. Get some old cook cola tray. Trays. Oh, yeah, there's more down here, too. More Coca Cola trays. Oh, this whole thing is loaded with Coca Cola trays. One. Here's another one. Two. Three. And then underneath here, oh, what the heck is this? Old lights. It has a flip switch on it. The walkie talkies on it. Here. Street talk. So. And Wii remotes. Weird, strange, Coca-Cola tray, sheets, Wii remotes. Usually what I put in the box. All right, what, ooh, what do we got here? Jean distressor. Oh man, I could tear up your jeans for you, Shane. Distress your own jeans now, and jackets. We got one, all brand new. I didn't even know you needed to buy a jean distressor. I just wear them. This whole thing looks like all brand new stuff in here, Shane. Peace on Earth. Reduce, recycle. I mean, it's just bags full. Look at this, all brand new keychains. Fashion jewelry. Hatchet. This whole thing is just loaded with all kinds of stuff. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. I mean, there's money in there. All kind of stuff to make jewelry. Watches. Beads. Wow, wow, wow. And this is another good bag of stuff. Money's definitely adding up. We just barely scratching the surface. There's boxes. Jack taller than me. Man, we just got to keep going. Keep seeing what we can find. But, man, interesting unit for sure. Ooh, what's that? Michael Jordan. 
Oh, happy Easter thing. To Michael Jordan. He even ruined the box. This is men's polos. You never know a clothes, a vintage clothing. And we could always have something else hidden inside there, but no. Looks like a bunch of polos clothes. Good thing Shane has our clothes bins are empty. What we got in here? All kind of stuff. Ductwork. This looks like tool stuff. Got copper piping in here. Little tiny thing to together, some kind of motor. This is so strange. As I always say, there's no rhyme. There's no reason in this business yet. This is just a big hunk of metal. I'm not sure what it's for. Ugh. Got in here, another shoe box. It's all wrapped up. Oh, there's cards in here, Shane. <laughs> Holy smoke, what we got? Baseball? Yu Gi Oh! Yu Gi Oh! Football? Dragon Ball Z? Yu-Gi-Oh! Pokemon? This whole bag is just full of cards. That's a good sign. We got more cards in here. I don't know what this is. <laughs> That's not cards. Looks like medical stuff. So we got some Pokemon cards. Some cords. And baseball. It's signed. Call somebody. I'll have to look it up. Maybe we have an autographed baseball. Pokemon cards. Yu-Gi-Oh cards. It's like these boxes just keep putting out stuff we just don't know what the heck we're going to find next. That's just amazing. This is VHS tapes. Let's see what those VHS tapes. All right, so VHS tapes and VHS tapes. Cartoons, Star Wars, cheap. Wow. So, remember the good old days? We used to record stuff off TV. This says Christmas stuff and they're not lying, Shane. Christmas stuff and this thing. Oh, cookies for Santa. You put out cookies for Santa, Shane? Oh, uh, they never make it. <laughs> I wonder why you get coal every year. <laughs> I wonder why he gets coal every year, ladies and gentlemen. This says women's clothes, and I believe it's women's clothes. Oh! And this is... Who knows? Front door latch. It is crappy. <laughs> Door locks, curtain and blinds. So, is it just used door locks or is it new one? A bunch of used door handles. So, out there, if somebody wants them, somebody can use them. Like this unit, it's like, why do you have this stuff? I guess they were selling stuff on eBay. Ooh! I saw an interesting box. Yeah, there's a couple of interesting boxes. I don't know if I can get this shit. We're working our way. We have to get through all these clothes. Oh, let's see. We'll just go right here next. Woo -hoo -hoo. Yeah, baby. What is this? Legos. Legos. Star Wars. Deep Sea. Oh, my gosh. Look at this. This keeps going. Going. These are like connects or something. Whole box is just loaded with Lego or other building block materials. But anyone that's ever sold Legos, sometimes you sell them by the pound. And there's a couple pounds here for sure. Wow. So, what are you going to find next? Clothes. More jeans. Urban wear. 
So, a bunch of jeans and clothes. Definitely has some value. I don't go out of my way to sell jeans and clothes. We got brand new socks. Whole bag full. Brand new stencil pack. So, oh, wow, 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 look at this. More of this jewelry, a whole bag full. This, this thing's just loaded brand new stuff. Dale Ernt Jr. pen stand. Who doesn't want that? Brand new, there's like three of them in there. Christmas time shame. Iron-ons, more jewelry, bracelet stuff, and this whole bag, I mean, look at this thing, it's just full, brand new. You can get 20 bucks for this bag, 20 bucks for that bag, 20 bucks for that bag, get a hundred dollar box. Like I said, got the game stuff, got Legos, we got, who knows what else we're going to find here, there's so many more boxes, and the vintage electronics, I know I'm going to make my money back. Question is, how much money am I gonna make? We got so much more to go through. Appreciate you guys all watching. Don't forget, subscribe, like, watch videos from beginning to end, check out our website. Have a wonderful, wonderful day.